Hey everybody, it's me, Carolina Princess 2K, coming in with a quick curly tag, curly tag. Okay, let's get into it because I was tagged by Washina1. You can check her out. I'll post her name either in the video or in the description box. So here we go. Question number one. What inspired you to go natural or wear your hair curly? My dad's side of his family, all most of the women are natural. Never had a perm, just probably just pressed the hair growing up. That was it. So they were my hair inspiration. And then I had some issues physically going on. So that was another reason why I decided to go natural. Two, who are your favorite curly hair idols? I would say it would be Journey to My Roots and Who is Sugar. Um, I had to kind of lay off Who is Sugar um because like she has a lot of videos and i just couldn't watch them all so and plus i have a a, a lot of new subscriptions so i kind of just wanted to see how everybody was in support question number three which youtube curly would you trade curls with for a day i would trade curls with crest smile um me and her are friends on facebook but I know we're also friends on YouTube also, so I'll put her name um, up here too. I would trade the curls with her because her curls are beautiful. Not to say I don't love mine, but to keep up with the fun of the curly tag. Four, if you could have, if you could only have one product for a year, which product would you choose? Whew. Water. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> it would be Shea Moisture style milk i'm in my bathroom y'all so hey i might pull a product might slap something on my head you never know so yes i would definitely run to that um because i could dilute it with like water or i could throw some oils and my hair for me it works for me all right question number five staying alive if you could change one thing about your curls what would it be flyaways flyaways them things get on my nerves oh my gosh i'm trying to tame flyaways but if y'all can see a close-up yeah those they i don't know i did it one time where i tamed my flyaways but it was because i did a wash and go and it came out nice and my flyaways were invisible they were non-existent so one day one day all right six What's the craziest thing you tried on your natural hair journey? Bananas. I did bananas and honey and olive oil as a deep conditioner one day. Ever? No more. No, no more. Never in my life. It was horrible. Bits and pieces everywhere. Had to shampoo my hair twice. Had to condition my hair three times. Had to wash my hair again the next day had banana pieces in my comb it was just i was mad i would and then when i used product it was flaky it was just horrible it was a horror story all right don't ever use banana now let you know exactly what you're doing i didn't newbie okay so question number seven and i'm sorry i'm going so quick this is my third video because apparently my phone has a time limit on it 10 minutes Hmm. but I ain't complaining okay so what's your secret ingredient that your curls love the most my water but um, my oils I got an oil mixture of tea tree oil castor oil vitamin E oil olive oil hold up y'all oh coconut oil slap all that together slap that on my head after I you know come out from washing and I'm good to go my curls are in love with it and then I slap on my shea moisture stuff and this my hair does great for days like I can go a couple I can go a few days without doing anything with my hair except water and throwing some oils on it so anyway going to number eight and it's great going to number eight if you could if you could merge two brands of products which two would it be shea moisture curl style milk and as I am double double butter cream if I could do that I would I would if I could but I can't so I can't that would be the bomb product for me because I could do twist twist
twist outs, rope twists, flat twists, up in the back twists. Your mama said, how you like me now, twist? You know, just anything. I know I can do it. And I could probably get a lot of definition from it. It might be a little heavy, but hey, who cares? I love it. All right, going number nine. What is your go-to hairstyle when you're in a rush? I'm in a rush, everyone. So it's either in a free flow, fro, or it's in this puff. One or two. Um, if I get tired of the fro, I mean... I either put a scarf around it or I might slap a flower in it or I just might do some hairpins and do like a half side, F free flowing afro side thing going on. I've done it before and just, I don't know why I don't take pictures of it. So those are my two when I'm in a rush. Number 10, we're coming to the end. I'm sorry I had to go through this so fast with my phone one act like a shh. Can't say that word. So. If your curly hair had a name, what would it be and why? I came up with a name about a couple of days ago to some of the ladies on the Natural Hair Group on Facebook that I'm on had a question of what is the name of your hair? I kind of thought it was crazy. I was kind of being analytical. Then I started seeing the appreciation of hair and why they wanted to name the hair and stuff. So my name for my hair is Eva. E-V-E-A, Eva. And the reason why, because I'm getting tickled about it, is my hair's going to be on my head forever until the day I leave this earth. So, you know, I just come up with something that I know that I can relate to and just, you know, have fun with it. So, you know, Eva is, is, is my hair name and it's going to be on my head forever. So, anyway, this was fun. Um, I want to thank Washina One for doing the curly tag and I just, y'all just need to check her out. Her page is great. She's a wonderful person, has a great personality. So check out Washina One and I hope y'all have a great evening, um, night, afternoon, morning, whenever you see this video and consider yourself curly tag. Booyah! Peace.